are at Creative Kitchen and Bath here in Lexington, and we are in the kitchen with Miss Allison yeah. Davis. As you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, of course. And um, so, this is our last recipe of, of the week. I know, yes, I know. I, but I've loved it, and I've loved it's doing all fantastic. these anti-aging foods. Yes, and I love um, it too. I can't wait to get home. And, me, you know, I'm always like looking at food as fuel, and yeah. food is medicine, and there's all, definitely like healing properties in food, and I mm -hmm. love highlighting that as well as sharing recipes. So, kind of hits me like at a little sweet spot yes. there. Um, but yeah, today we are making a fat bomb. A fat bomb? Yeah, so okay. this is a ketogenic, <laughs> this is a ketogenic friendly recipe. So you know I've been following keto and been doing more ketogenic foods yeah. um, just personally. Um, so I'm going to be tracking kind of weight loss or fat loss um, and mm -hmm. seeing, you know, how we, you know, progress from there. That's kind of my goal as we get into the holiday season is really to try to stay to that keto yeah. lifestyle. So I'm going to definitely be incorporating some of those recipes. Great. Uh, but this week we've been focusing in on anti-aging. And so this is a fat bomb but we have some serious benefits here. Oh, good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> One of the main ones is from nuts. Um, we all know nuts are great fats for uh -huh. us, and they have some uh, wonderful benefits. Right. And then berries, um, mm -hmm. and we're using raspberries and blueberries um, are really known for their antioxidant properties, mm -hmm. um, but also um, in helping to fight free radicals, which can, I've got to look at my uh, notes here, um, that can help us uh, with our fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, um, that, hello. Um, <laughs> the free radicals that come from stress, yeah. from sun damage, uh -huh. and even mm -hmm. from over-exercising. Um, so <laughs> they really help to kind of go to that area and fight those free radicals. And so yeah. it could help us in preventing those fine lines and wrinkles that come from the stress and the sometimes over-exercising or over-exerting and sun damage and all that good stuff. So, right, right. Um, it's, it, these are two uh, what I call superfoods because okay. their benefits far outweigh any cal caloric intake. Okay. Um, so Is it high in calorie too? Is this going to be high um, This is a high calorie for sure because uh -huh. again this is keto so yeah. we're focusing in on fats mm -hmm. and low carbs so you're gonna have a higher fat but you're getting the good fats right um, and then you've got some definite protein here as well because we've got the nuts mm -hmm. so what we're basically doing is making like a chocolate bark or you know in the holidays you see the peppermint bark yeah. and the chocolate bark but we're not using chocolate we're using cocoa powder and we're making our own uh, bomb or bark out of coconut butter oh, so very good. Okay. I'm gonna show you how we make it and it has zero on the glycemic index because we're using a stevia extract instead of sugar so okay. great keto recipe here for the nice. holidays um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a coconut butter and I did melt this in the microwave okay. so that we could go ahead and just have this melted coconut butter okay. and I was asked earlier you know what's the difference in coconut butter versus like coconut oil, oil yes and this is from the coconut pulp Okay, so you get the coconut pulp versus ah, just the okay. oil. Okay, um, so it's it hardens great. back up. Is yeah, that, it definitely. You yeah. can already see where half of it's like solidified yes. there. So it's yep. a it's a great. Um, it smells good. oil or great fat to be used in baking. Okay. Right. So we have the coconut butter, and then we're going to go in with um, spoon this out here. Mm -hmm. Um, our almond butter, and I went with the crunchy almond butter, so we have little bits of yeah. the almonds that will give us that texture. Ooh, looks good. All right, so some of the almond butter in with the coconut butter, and we want it to be a wet product right uh -huh. now, so you melt your coconut uh, butter so that it's nice and wet. Now, can you use peanut butter instead of the almond butter? Yeah, I don't see why you couldn't use yeah. the peanut butter. Um, it's still going to harden up yeah. um, in the freezer, so okay. yeah, I certainly, and I, we've used the sun butter as well, so if you have a nut allergy, maybe try using it with the sun butter that's made from the sunflower seeds. Okay. All right, and then we're going to go in with our uh, cocoa powder. Nice. It's an unsweetened cocoa powder, and I found this recently that Hershey's now does a specialty dark cocoa powder so Very it's got good. that nice like bitter um, cacao flavor okay and then we have stevia extract a little bit of stevia goes a very long way okay good um, so you really need to measure and we're gonna go with I think like a quarter of a teaspoon okay it's fun when these are all connected right <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go in, we're going to get our stevia, Good our job. stevia is going to go in and that's going to make our bark really nice and sweet. Okay. And then we're just going to start to blend all this together, right? Yeah. So it just looks like a big, you know, bit of melted chocolate yeah. at this point. So at this point what you're going to do is we are going to take this and pour it 
onto a parchment lined sheet tray. Okay. And then um, I melted some frozen raspberries just in the microwave. Uh -huh. Put those over top. You could also go with some chopped walnuts if you wanted to. Okay. And you want to freeze it for at least an hour if you can uh, to where it sets up in the fridge. Okay. And then you just break it apart and you've got this bark that it's you can beautiful. sit out. I love it. And you just leave it in the uh, freezer until you're ready to serve. So awesome. I want you to just try to take a little bite and I see if that tastes like. I definitely want to. Um, mm. Your chocolate fix. Nice. I love it. For this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com, and she's also on Instagram. Yeah, at Chef Allison Davis. And I think we'll I've got chocolate in my teeth, but yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back right after the short break. Stay right here.